a media party organized by the Office of the Special Assistant to the Governor on Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs, in partnership with the Delta Broadcasting Service, DBS Asaba, held in Asaba, the Delta State Capital. The Special Assistant to the State Governor on Sustainable Development Goals, Lady Diana Ereitomi Eyo Enoete, said the media as the 40th state of the realm played a critical role in bridging the gap between the ambitious targets of the SDGs and the daily struggle of the people, especially in the era of complex challenges ranging from climate change, inequality, health crisis and economic downturn. What informed this is that we want the media to be informed and properly informed at that in terms of what the United Nations technical expectations are and how the numbers and the stories on the indicators can be told technically right. And we also acknowledge the media as a critical partner in the work that we're doing. And when I mean the work, it's not just the state work, but the nation and the international platform in achieving the global goals. So it can't be done without the media, to be honest. And that's, that is why it is very important that as we carry out initiatives and push ourselves in attaining the goals, the media remains critical in getting that work done. The general manager of the Delta Broadcasting Service, DBS Asaba, Mrs. Christine Jebome Metulu, said the partnership of the DBS Asaba with the Office of the SA to the Governor on SDG underscored the resolve of the establishment to give ministries, departments and agencies of government, as well as the private sector, the platform to showcase their activities while also demonstrating the commitment of DBS Asaba to developing content that promote the SDG. I urge us to harness our collective intellectual strength and creativity to reimagine the potential of media as a catalyst for sustainable development. On our part as a media organization, Delta Broadcasting Service Asaba, to keep faith with advancing the SDGs in Delta State, we will prioritize programming that highlights sustainable development practices, climate change, environmental conservation, quality education, sustained cities and communities, as well as social equality, while also receiving feedback through our radio and television platforms. The Director General of the Delta State Orientation and Communications Bureau, Dr. Latimo Oganesive, stressed the importance of communication for development, improved partnership with international bodies and specialized trainings for the media to enable them effectively communicate the SDG goals to the people at the grassroots. There is a lot to be done in terms of communication. Uh, until when we effectively communicate the goals of these SDGs and what government is doing, it becomes very difficult for some people to understand it. A lot of people have been hearing about SDG, SDG, but what does it really mean? It's still a problem to many people. And I think this is where the press must begin to partner with us in this area. Participants described the theme, Advancing the SDG Media in Action, and the sub-theme, Collaborative Storytelling for an Equitable and Resilient Africa, as apt. They just have only seven years more before the 2030 agenda we end. So to me, it was a very timely, and it's one that we all should appreciate and collaborate. And what also beg government to especially fund the office so that this goes, because without funding, this goes may not be achieved. And also the media will have a role to play. The event featured a special session by SDG's experts, Mrs. Augusta Impact, presentation on SDG projects in communities across the state, and presentation of certificate of appreciation and recognition as an SDG partner, ambassador and advocate to the general manager DBS Asaba, Mrs. Christine Jebome Imetulu, among other activities. In attendance, we are the executive assistant to the governor on new media, Mr. Felix Afo, the SSA to the governor on communications, Mr. Freddy Dore, and the chairman, Nigerian Union of Journalists, Comrade Churchill Oyowe, as well as some top management staff of the DBS Asaba.